Hey guys, we're doing a breakdown of the TM m and uh, I played around enough with it and I bought some upgrades, so we're going to take it apart. As always, make sure your mag is out. And then you need to just line it up. There we go. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to take this out of the picture. We're going to focus on the upper and then focus on the lower. Uh, it makes life a lot easier just to focus on one thing at a time. I'm going to take out the guide rod. Now to dissemble the guide rod is very simple. You can see right here, just pull down the recoil spring, and hold it down with your right or left hand, and then creep up your thumb and just pull it out like that. And then you'll see that this will come apart. And this is how if you want to, uh, re you know, replace any recoil springs or anything. Next up we have the outer barrel and the pop-up system. You can see I already have a, uh, I put a PDI in here. Um, the TMMP basically takes anything that's a high kappa, Glock, or 226 barrel, and it takes any VSR buckets too, or you know, high kappa barrel, which is pretty cool. Now on the hop-up system, if you want to change the inner barrel and bucking, it's very simple. Uh, just two screws, one and two. Don't take this one out, just if anything, leave it alone. Um, whenever I take things apart, I try not to mess with things that don't have replacements. And quite honestly right now, the M&P is um, still limited, but we're getting parts. So uh, that's a good thing. Next thing you're going to notice, you have this little brass part right here. Let's, let's screw this a little more. Okay. Now let's get this brass part off. There you go. This brass indicator. And then here's the second half and you can take this apart now the cool thing is um, this is pretty much self-contained so don't um, I, my honest opinion don't mess around with this just leave it like this is and this is how you replace uh, inner barrels and buckings um, I'll probably change my bucking later you just need to obviously need to put it in this groove and then put it back together I will not be doing a reassembly um, I have like a slide on order well not in order I need to figure out what slide I want so I'm waiting to buy parts. Uh, so we'll get to that later. <clears throat> There's two screws here. Just unscrew those, and that will release the uh, rear sight. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, guys. I'm getting over a little sickness. <laughs> but the upper is pretty straightforward, which is good. Uh, once again, two screws. Now. In order to take this apart, it feels like you're going to break it, but don't worry. Um, you need to pull it apart like you do for the TM high kappas and uh, not the Glocks, just the TM high kappas. Pull it apart and push it down from, uh, from you can see where my index finger is sort of pushing the loading nozzle. But be careful with the loading nozzle. There are no replacements as the time of this video. Okay? Now you can see return spring. Once again, be careful. Don't ruin anything. All right? And then we have the loading nozzle. Uh, unfortunately, it's not a screw and piston. But if you ever need to replace pistons, just pull this apart. And there you go. It's just a, um, it's like the Glock 18 and some of the 226 models. Okay, uh, I won't be taking apart this guy. But it's very simple. You have a pin, a rolling pin, rocket valve, and then you have the plunger spring. Well, the spring. Very simple system, if anything. Okay, what do we have left? Okay, the rear sight will just slide out very easy. So, if you want to replace any um, sights, I just recently bought the UAC sights, so I'll be uh, testing those out. Now, to take apart the front sight is similar to the uh, TM 226. Just pinch and remove this uh, little horseshoe shape item right here okay and next what you're going to do is try to push out the sight just like that all right okay um got the upper covered this should be more than enough to help you replace if you're getting a, a detonator swipe that's all that's available right now at the time of this video um, what we're going to do is going to move this out of the video i'm going to brush this off to the side and we're going to focus on the lower 
Okay. Now, if you guys have any questions or anything for the assembly, all I can tell you is just you know rewatch the video. Uh, I'm pretty sure someone's already done a disassembly. Um, this is always just another view, another angle to help out. Now, moving on to the lower. Um, there's a total of two screws. You got one for the front post, and you got one for the rear uh, hammer assembly. Now, let's take those apart. Um, first of all, what you need to do is twist, and this is the medium. Okay, twist, take it out. You're gonna pull back and down. And that you should be able to take out the back strap. And you can notice there's a little screw right here. Just unscrew that. And now let's take uh, the front post out. The only thing I can tell you guys, don't really take this apart unless you need to fix anything or if you're replacing parts, realistically speaking, okay? Because this is a polymer frame and unfortunately uh, there's no aftermarket right now. So I'm, I'm not sure if these will um, break over time like the Glock, but we'll see. The good thing is the screw on here is a pretty smart position. All right, now we have three pins. One, two, three. Let's knock these out. This one is going to be easier, so we'll knock that out. Oop. Oh, amateur mistake. Sorry, guys. Uh, obviously, make sure this is down. Uh, otherwise, it won't come out. You don't want to break this. Okay. I'm going to see this pin. This is how this one looks. It's very easy to put back into. This is the easiest one. Let's put that here. Next up, we have this guy. This one, you don't need to worry about the position. It's not going to hit it regardless. Okay. But honestly, you just hit it from this side. It's a lot easier. Well, not easier in terms of if it's tough or not, but... go okay we got one down let's move on to the next one in the bit and their hammer assembly okay looks like we're free and clear all right cool from here I don't think we need any more tools except to take the hammer somewhere apart. But we'll go over that. Uh, one thing you want to be careful of is the the rear hammer assembly. There's two springs on here that you need to be careful. Um, if anything, try to cup it or make sure you're prepared to capture them if they try to pop out. But don't lose them. Okay, here's the first spring. You guys see it? The little gold part. There's one there. The second spring is right here that's already trying to pop out. You see it? What I'm going to do is just grab it and pull it out so I don't lose it. I put it right here. You guys see that? I'm going to need to take this out. And for now, I'm going to flip this over so it doesn't go anywhere, hopefully. And we'll come back to this later. First, let's work on this. This is easier than the hammer assembly. All right. Just pull it up. The cool thing is it's literally a one piece. All right, one more part. To get out the magazine release, there's gonna be, it's, it's too dark on the camera, but literally just stick your finger in there. You'll feel like a spring in there and pull down and outwards. And you'll, it's gonna unhook. So just pull out the magazine release from there, jiggle it out, and boom. So now you've um, completely assembled the uh, what do you call it the grip if you want to take out the name tag um, this little pin here I think that's how you actually take it out although I'd have to test out myself I'd probably just knock it out all right but let's get this out of the picture we don't need this anymore we'll move this guy up this is the magazine release and the spring for it and all the pins the screws let's work on this guy right now now, here's the spring in here. There's a spring right here. This is how it looks. 
Let's take out this spring. Okay. There we go. Got that spring out. We can pull this out, no problem. Now all we need to do is just knock out the pin. I believe it is you have to knock it from this way, okay? And just let's see if I uh remember it correctly. Yep, there we go. Okay. You can see the rough edges right here. So this is you you know, you just put it back in this way and knock it back in. And you can already see in, in the in the frame it's got the rough edges for it. So here you go. This is a trigger assembly and a trigger bar. I bought the uh UAC trigger bar, so I'll be replacing that. Here's the uh slide release. And there you guys go. The front is uh, disassembled now. The trigger is very simple. The only thing I can tell you right now is do not bend this downwards. Um, for some reason, if you do bend it, and you notice when you reassemble it and it's not working, uh, bend the string back up. It needs to have this kind of tension here. Okay? Don't bend it downwards. Don't mess with this. It will, if you mess with it, it's not going to work. And you guys know why? Because <laughs> I did it myself. <laughs> Alright, let's move on to the hammer assembly. Uh, we're going to push this stuff out of the way because I want you guys to focus on this. Um, this is going to be the the uh, the part that is very tricky. Okay, you can already see that the valve reset came apart. Uh, it literally goes in this notch right here. Very simple if you've taken apart um, some pistols. Oh, air's off. Alright, let's take that out. I actually have a prototype UAC hammer set. I'm very excited to test out and try it. So that's what I'll be installing in here. But the safeties, uh, for those who are questioning, you can play without the safeties. I've already tested that. So you actually don't need the safeties. And I actually don't like the safeties. What you need to do is wiggle it and pull it. But you see, keep your hand on here. You don't want to lose the spring. So just wiggle and pull. And a pin might come out, or this is safety. Either way, it's okay. All right, so let's get the safety right here. Now this guy, I'm going to try to pull downwards. Boom. Okay, so we didn't lose anything. We have the the detent and the spring. And I'm going to put that in this little safety section right, right here. Okay, with the valve reset and spring. Now we have three screws. I'm not going to take apart this screw and I'll explain to you why so you guys can visually see how this is. But if anything, guys, don't forget to check the diagram or what they call the explosion diagram uh, of the TMMP. Uh, that will always help you figure out if, you know, if you're missing something or you know, what do you need to fix or how it looks before you take it apart. So don't be scared to look at that and attempt this. All right, now I'm taking out these two screws. One, two. I'm gonna pull this apart. I'm gonna try to keep it together for you guys, but we'll see. Uh, no. <laughs> All right, this is how this part looks. Let's see, guys, see. You have the, that's why I told you not to take this uh, screw off. You, once you take the screw off, this will fall off. But this is how it gets released. Very, it's very cool, if anything. Um, but there you guys go. You don't need to take this apart unless you want to. If you want to take it apart, all you have to do is just unscrew this. And um, for me, I'll do that because I actually have the prototype USC stuff. So, I'm going to do that. Okay, here we go. That's how that looks. All right, we'll put that down here. Uh, this part, I'll try to explain how it goes. Okay, it basically goes like this, guys. 
<laughs> the hammer spring goes right here. Am I doing this right? Yeah, I'm getting this right. That's how the hammer spring goes. Let me see. Okay. And you see this is for the valve knocker. This is how this one goes. It has a little hole that you need to put in the spring. I need to hook the valve knocker on there. Uh, it's a little jumble jumble. But this part right here holds the hammer and the valve knocker. Okay, so you put in this little rolling pin through them both. And here's where the juggle comes in. <laughs> you need to put the little strut thing, well not strut, pin in the hole while trying to get the valve knocker. Uh, you see the spring? I'm not going to do it on camera, but you guys get the gist. You have to get the hammer spring behind the hammer, okay, like that. I'll show you guys how that's supposed to go. This is how it's supposed to work, the hammer. You see how I can push it, it'll pop right back up. That's when you know how you, when, that's, I'm sorry, that's when you know you have it right, when it pops right back up, okay? And then you need to get this little spring right here inside of this valve knocker. I wouldn't recommend trying to bend it to get in there. Um, but it's, it's easier if you just, you know, position it all right here and you try to push the valve knocker spring right here with your hand and then boom, like, sort of like, what's I'm trying to do right now for you guys. Let's see if I can do it for you guys. Doesn't help that I have really fat fingers. No. Yeah, it's going to take me forever. I'm trying to keep this video short. Uh, 17 minute video. But I take it apart anyways. Let's take that out. Here you guys go. Boom. Okay. And the rotor goes on here. Just like that. No, that's not the right way. There you go. Alright guys. So if you have any questions, let me know. Um, I will not be doing a reassembly. And I am ordering a bunch of stuff with the TM M P to upgrade it and do it over time. So I'll be doing videos actually after this on, on the parts I bought and see if they work or not. So I will see you guys around. Uh, thank you very much. Have a good day.